Hi, uh, welcome everybody. Welcome to a new episode of Obscure Lively Music and Soundtracks. This time, a Boobs special. Just as a warning, there will be 108 boobs in this video. You're one. And no, for people who have seen my previous one, no male nudity this time. You're safe. And the first one is a library album. I think it's German, but it could also be Italian. I'm not really sure. Could not find if it's one or the other. Um, it's an instrumental album of an instrumental album. Uh, that sounds complicated. Uh, also, when I found it in the grades, I had both copies that were next to each other. Um, on this one, they really stripped everything, so you purely have the groove. Um, on the instrumental version, uh, there were also saxophone and the trombone and trumpet. And now I feel I should have got them both. Uh, I like this one the most, but it's nice. Just a story to have an instrumental album of an instrumental album. That was cool. So the boobs will be starting to show now. And I think the first time I saw boobs on television was on this movie. See if you can recognize it. Can you guess it? Yes, Emmanuel. So, as a warning, if you like the music but don't want to see the boobs, cover your eyes. And if you don't like the music and like boobs, cover your ears. And this is just classic stuff. I mean, it has that complete sweetness that. that It really expires that summer heat, sweat, everything. It's, it's really, really good. Um, it's done by Francis Lay. Uh, he did also other soundtracks. And at one point I thought, yeah, now I found the follow-up. But it also shows how they misused this. And he did this movie also. Uh, Belitis. I will just play the first song, but it, as it is not a good album. Um, I think they used his name just for the music to make it. And it's fun to see the difference between the two because it's, it's very small. It, uh, but on the one side, it's really it's great, and here it is really falling away. That, that, there is nothing behind it. So if you see this movie, it's, I think it's been pressed quite a lot, the soundtrack, but it does not get close to Emmanuel. And then of course you have more Emmanuels and you have really the classic stuff. Um, is this one, Black Emmanuel. So here she moves to Africa and has nice, exciting uh, events. Uh, the back shows a little bit of what is happening in the movie. This is the Dutch pressing. So you hear that, that, that's nice about this soundtrack. You have the theme is going through the whole album. And as you can hear, this is more Afrobeat to it, a little bit. And you have also more funk songs. When there's action in the movie, put up a little bit. And of course, and I don't know if you noticed, but you have Emmanuel and you have Emmanuel. 
And this is the French version, with the, the Dutch sketches. And this is the Italian version. And I must believe there must have been things happening. Uh, because it's clear the Italians copied it. Although maybe not. And this is the French version. And I think when the first time they saw it, and they saw Black Emmanuel, there was a small French guy who said, Change maintenant, tout de suite! Uh, he was upset, of course. Uh, and then the Italian guy says, No, no, sir, no equally. Look, uh, Emmanuel. Uh, M, M. And this is Emmanuel. One M. It's not the same thing. You think it's the same thing? It is not the same thing. So that's when you look up Emmanuel B. Well, usually the Emmanuel the uh, Italian version, this one is by Nico Fidenko. Uh, there's usually a little bit more funky, and the French one with the two M's is uh, usually more sweet, more lush. And now we go to this is a crazy, uh, crazy good album by the Chakras from Belgium. And this album was so ahead of its time, it, it is amazing. When I found it, I could not believe it because I think originally. This from 71 or something, 72, can I find, no, it does not say, but I will just play the intros, because if you were in SGS in the beginning of the 90s, and you thought, wow, new music, they just have copied this album. This album is so good, it's, it's really amazing. And Chakras is so is a Latin band from... I don't know when it started, I think somewhere in the 80s, maybe even 50s, I don't know. So it was a Latin dance band that never really performed live. This one, the beginning of the 70s, you can feel they were really onto something. They really were inventing a new style of music. You can hear a little bit here of the Latin influences, but the twist they put on it is so good. These are just the first three songs, and they are just classic. So, I don't know if we have been counting. And if you want to find more of these albums, I will give you a little bit of trick. Just find out who is playing on this one, who wrote the songs, who did the production. It's usually RKM or, well, you, you, it's part of the mystery of course, but find out who is writing these songs and try to find their albums and you're good. They've done many, many albums. So if you have been counting, you've only counted something like, um, I believe, 12 books. So. Where I promised 108, so we are missing still like uh, 96. So now I will show you one album immediately, 96 books. And that can only be one guy, because he already showed books the whole 70s. I think it's on every album he showed or played on, where he did the cover. Uh, it's of course Fela Kuti, uh, with Takara. This album is just classic. And Maybe this is for me has been the start of Afrobeat, Afrofunk music. Oh well, though I didn't not realize it. Uh, at one point I had the original. This is the French pressing of 75. Uh, I sold my original one because I'm not that into Velakuti. I, I sold the original one, bought a box with seven albums. And 
from that box I only played this one so at some point I sold the box again and got me this one um, I must say the French pressing is very nice it's even a very good pressing you have the same cover and although I am used to very beat up covers but uh, this one is also but on this album it's actually amazing I think it's 72 and the music he did on this one it has that funky vibe mixed with, with Afrobeat. I don't think he ever got this close to really funky music. But here you have the whole dance scene. This must have uh, inspired a lot of people, as well in Africa as all over the world. Hope you enjoyed this book special. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.